Hello and welcome to the QA Underground. In today's video, we will be creating a Selenium page object model using JavaScript and Mocha. Before we get started, let's go over the setup. We will be creating our project folder and then we will install our dependencies through the terminal. And then we will create our test and page object directories, followed by creating a base page class that will have a shared driver that we can use across multiple page classes. Once that's done, we will create our home page class that will have our home page actions. And then finally, we will create a test script that utilizes the Mocha and the page classes for test actions. All right, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new folder for our project. I'm going to call this JavaScript underscore Mocha underscore Selenium. After the folder is created, we can open the terminal at the folder so we can install our dependencies. The first thing we're going to do here is run npm init so we can set up our project. I'm going to use just the default settings here, so I'm just going to kind of speed through this piece. After that, we need to install our dependencies, so we're going to start with installing Selenium WebDriver. And I'm specifically going to call out 3.6.0. After that, we need to install our Chrome driver dependency. And then finally, we can install our Mocha dependency. Now we open up our project, we're going to open up package.json and we're going to make a modification for test. We're going to actually change test to say Mocha. And then we're going to actually pass in a timeout for the Mocha test. And then we'll save those changes. Now we're going to actually create our directories. So we're going to create a test directory. And then we're going to want to create our page objects directory. With our test directories created, we can now create our test script. So within the test directory, we are going to create a test script called homepage.js. first thing we'll do is create our describe block. So we'll do describe. This is the describe block is the description I'm going to pass to it. And then function. Within this block, I'm going to set a timeout at the top of 50,000 milliseconds. And then we'll create a before each block. So this block is where we will enter our actions that we want performed prior to the test running. So I'll just make a comment here so you don't forget. And then we need an after each block. So after each block is basically the actions that will be performed after the test is completed. So again, I'll make a comment here so we can remember what those blocks are doing. And then finally we have our it block. So our it block is actually our test block. So I'm gonna enter a description that says palm test function and then inside that function, this is where we will enter our actions that we want the test to do. For starter, I'm going to actually create a base URL variable that we will use later on in the video. As we will be hitting google.com and doing a search, I will be using google.com as my base URL. I 
and then we will simply save the file. Next we need to create our base page class. So our base page class is where we will actually instantiate our shared driver across page classes. So the first thing we need to do is set up our web driver. We need to require Selenium web driver. Now we need to set up our driver variable. So we need to do a new webdriver.builder. dot for browser and then pass in Chrome as that's the browser we will be targeting and then simply dot build to build our driver. Now I'm actually going to set a, an implicit weight and I do that by doing driver dot manage dot set timeouts and set an implicit weight. So basically what an implicit weight is is that it will wait for the element for the duration of the implicit weight passed to it. So we're going to pass in 10,000 milliseconds so that is 10 seconds. Now we can create our actual class. We're going to create a class called base page. And then inside that base page, we're going to create a constructor. Within that constructor, we're going to create a global.driver equals driver. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to share our driver across page classes. And then finally, we need to export our class using module.exports. And then once again, we'll save the file. Now we can create our home page class. This is where we will store all of our page objects for the home page. We'll start off by setting up some cons. So we need a builder, a buy, a key, and an tell. These are just Selenium WebDriver methods that we can call within our scripts below. Next we'll create a var for the base page, so we're going to actually extend the base page here in a second, so we're going to require and then our path to our base page class, which is located within the page objects directory. And finally we need to set up our web driver var, so we'll do web driver requires and then selenium web driver. And now we can finally create our home page class. Now remember we want to extend our base page to this class so that way we can share the driver to the home page. Within the home page class we're going to create a enter search. And we're going to actually create a variable called search text. So this will be the actual text that will be passed to the driver. Inside that block we're going to do driver.findElement and then we're going to use the CSS selector, so we're going to do by.css and then pass in the CSS for the Google search field, which is input name equals Q. And then because the action we want to do is to send text, we're going to use the send keys and pass in the search text. Next, after we enter the text, we want to be able to hit enter. So we're going to define almost the same find element where we do driver.findElement by.css, then the CSS ID. And then we're going to do dot send keys. But instead of search text, we're actually going to use key.enter, which will be the enter key on the keyboard. And then I'm going to add a comment for what each line is doing for sake of transparency. And then save the file. Now that we have our homepage class set up, we can call our homepage at the top of our test. 
So we'll do that by const homepage equals requires and then the path to the homepage class. So in our case, it's page objects homepage. Now that we can call the homepage class within our test script, we can use homepage dot and then we're going to actually target the enter search object that we created inside the homepage class. And we'll simply pass our search text. So in our case, we're going to use QA underground tutorial for beginners. And we'll close off the line. So with that, we still need to tell our driver how to navigate to the base URL. For that, we're going to use the base class because the home page can extend the base class. Any methods we write in here can be extended to the home page. For that, we're going to create a go to URL. And inside that go to URL, we'll simply create a driver.get and then pass the base URL to that method. For that to happen, we need to also add a parameter for the URL inside the go to URL. Then we need to save the file. And now we can simply just call homepage.go to URL and pass in our base URL variable. And once again, we'll save the file. Now that that's all done, we should be able to clear this and run our test. So I'm simply going to do npm test and then point to our homepage script. Hit enter. Okay, it looks like we have a type error for homepage.go to URL. So let's look at our base page. Everything looks good here. Let's look at our homepage. Oh, okay. So it looks like I forgot to do module.exports and export out the home page. So I will add that here. Module.exports equals new home page. And we'll save it. So let's double check this here again. Okay. All right, so now we should be good. Let's double check and save here. Make sure all the files are saved and we should be good to clear and run again. I will run that. So again, npm test point to the test script. So now it's passing and running. Well, it looks like I, you guys can't see the browser. So I'll actually share it so you guys can see the browser run as well. And then we will run it one more time so you guys can see the browser actually running. So you can see we're going to google.com. It'll do QA underground tutorial for beginners. And that's what our whole test was using the page object model. In today's video, we covered how to create a Selenium page object model using JavaScript and Mocha. Let me know if you like this style of video by hitting the like button down below or leaving a comment. If you are not already a subscriber to our channel but enjoy the content, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you on the next video.